Hi everybody, this is Elena from The Immigration People and welcome back to another episode of our successful citizenship stories. Today, I have with me Dixon. Dixon, Hello. would you care to introduce yourself to our audience? Sure, Elena. Hello everyone, I'm Dixon. I'm originally come from Hong Kong and uh, I've been in Singapore since uh, 2016 July and next year is my eighth year in, uh, in Singapore. I'm now working in the shipping industry as a commercial uh, management role. I moved here with my family. I have uh, one uh, lovely wife and two uh, pretty uh, princess. And currently my mother-in-law also come with a long-term pass to take care of my 10 months old uh, kid. Yeah, this time really flies. I remember we met back in 2017 to first talk about your Singapore PR application. Yes, and you know, having lived in, you know, Hong Kong and moving to Singapore, is it difficult for you to adapt to Singapore when you first came here? Actually, it's not so difficult to adapt. And uh, actually, Hong Kong and Singapore with uh, so similar characteristics like uh, language, living standard, and multicultural. So, to me and to my family, it's uh, quite easy to settle down. And also, because if we have a good plan, also with my company, uh, quite good support and uh, offering me some trial period to, to, to work in here for feeling this uh, atmosphere. So, um, so frankly speaking, just uh, half a year for settling all down in terms of uh, housing and learning the community and something like that. Yeah. And what makes you actually want to apply for citizenship? Because from our experience, a lot of expatriates come to Singapore, uh, they will aim to get a Singapore PR status. But from there, most of them usually, they will not want to give up their original citizenship. So what makes you actually want to, you know, decide that, oh, I want to be a true blue Singaporean? Um, honestly speaking, uh, from the beginning when I, when I want to uh, move to Singapore or relocating, I already planned for the long stay. Oh. Yeah. But at that moment, I don't have my, I didn't have my, uh, my kids, mm. and uh, I just get married. So, um, so at that moment, maybe I already just think of PR uh, for the job security and for my career. But when we have the first one and the second one, we will, we may, we start plan for the the future for my next generation. And at that moment, uh, we also comparing Hong Kong and Singapore, the situation and the future. And we think uh, Singapore is more uh, um, stable and uh, more uh, easy for living and also beneficial for my kid, uh, the, 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 the future. And, and also for the good education system, the process. So, um, so it's an easy decision for me after getting the PR, after two years, then I follow the next step for the citizenship application. That's great to know, uh, Dixon. And it's good to know that you, know, you are quite decisive when it comes to your long-term planning because we have met a lot of clients who may procrastinate regarding you know, whether to convert or whether to you know, migrate and stay here for the long term. And what makes you actually want to engage the immigration people for your citizenship application? Because your PR was actually pretty smooth sailing from my memory. Yeah, you got it in your first try. And what makes you want to you know, receive professional assistance again for your citizenship? I think you mentioned one of the key points because uh, I, I also work with your good company to, to, to work with my PR application. And I understanding the whole process and uh, the requirement from ICA is uh, sometimes may be quite challenging for some uh, outsiders. So, uh, so that's why I, when I get the successful uh, on the uh, application and the approval for the PR, then uh, when I start to think about the citizenship, then I still uh, 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 tends to, 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 to rely on the consultation uh, 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 company to work for me for the work for my family for the citizenship application because I believe the the, 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 the professional to handle my documentation and the data quality to submit 
all uh, all things is uh, essential and important for getting this approval smoothly. Thank you for entrusting us for your citizenship application again. And do you remember how long did you wait to receive the outcome of your citizenship application? Uh, it's, to be honest, uh, we are quite lucky uh, because I remember when we were doing the submission is during the COVID and semi-lockdown and everything go through the e-channel. Right. And the full process we wait uh, it's just almost one year. Honestly, mm. it's quite fast because we expect there's uh, some extra rating times. Right. And uh, yeah, so everything go uh, quite smooth uh, after we uh, until we get the first uh, confirmation letter, mm -hmm. and then few process uh, follow up, and then to to get the final uh, passport and everything is just uh, the next uh, half a year. That's so right. uh, one and a half year. I get full settled my citizenship. To be honest, yours is ended very fast because majority of our clients for citizenship, they waited between 18 to 24 months. Mm. So I was also quite surprised when you informed me that, oh, your citizenship I'm also <laughs> quite surprised too. So, uh, also, but, but yeah, but yeah. you know my our case, you, mm. you submit, you help us to submit, so you definitely know uh, the, 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 yeah, the the full process and the duration that we wait. So, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the good timing and uh, all the data and information and all the supporting document is uh, catching, catching the, the ICAIs. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, so everything go quite uh, uh, as our plan. Yeah, because I believe you have a good profile yourself as well. You have uh, good qualifications and you came from the shipping industry also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is very relevant uh, to Singapore as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, now, now that you become a citizen, right, for a good one year-ish, what do you think is the biggest difference between being a PR and being a citizen? Uh, good question, but uh, I also thinking of it. Uh, when when I when I decide whether we go to the citizenship uh, application, uh, honestly speaking, um, there's no big difference for personal, mm -hmm. for individual. If you just uh, want to uh, uh, um, work with your individual with a career security, or just want to have a good living in Singapore, I think PR is surely enough. Um, but as I say, I. I more think about my, my, my family and also my, uh, my next generation. But that's, I think, compared to uh, my current Hong Kong uh, 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 resident status, I think it's more um, clear identity to my kid and because they are born in, in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And also, um, um, I see the good environment for the Singapore and the government supporting uh, the next generation. And and will be more benefit with her their future, mm -hmm. yeah. And also, as you say, uh, shipping industry in Singapore is uh, also keep a uh, cost prospect. So uh, so that's why I still uh, seeing good opportunity here to develop my career. So it's uh, also the natural process uh, for the for considering the citizenship apart further uh, from the PR. And since you got your citizenship, you know, quite some time back, I believe you have also taken part in this year's uh, voting for our presidential election. Yeah. How, yeah. how do you feel <laughs> about uh, that? We, in Hong Kong, actually, we also have few experience for voting, but, mm. um, but, uh, but it's the it's brand new experience for me to elect the, one of the, 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 the top, top people in Singapore and also concerning my, my, my next few years in Singapore. So, uh, and definitely, definitely uh, it's a good experience for me. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward uh, to, my, to my youngest kid uh, when, when she becomes the rotting rice, she, she also yeah. uh, will, will take this uh, good, uh, good uh, feeling on this. So Dixon, as you know, there are a lot of expats in Singapore who are yearning to become a Singapore PR for their much needed stability and you know to enjoy rights and privileges similar to a Singapore citizen. But a lot of these PRs, they are not, uh, they are more hesitant to commit and convert to a Singapore citizenship. Right, they are undecided where they will be for the next 10 years, 15 years. This is why they are not so keen to convert. So as someone who's been through the journey, 
you know, uh, what's your view on this? And you know, with your personal experience, what do you feel about this? Um, I think different different um, condition will also uh, have different affecting their decision. Uh, just based on my personal, I, I my view is uh, to see if your personal growth and personal growth map whether um, you see the matching with the Singapore the coming future. Um, of course, the current position that you are now in your current nationality is also one of the key you will consider. And um, for me, as a Hong Kong resident, um, I, I just uh, try to compare the coming years between Singapore and uh, Hong Kong, what we will be. And is it rather beneficial with my next generation if keeping in Singapore or moving back in Hong Kong? So, um, so yes, it's more related to yourself when you think about your personal uh, in, the, in the next few years when you want to keep here in Singapore or, uh, or, ju or just moving back in your hometown. Thanks for your sharing, uh, Dixon. So as someone who has actually been through the citizenship journey successfully, what would your piece of advice to our viewers who may be watching this video, you know, at home is a Singapore PR and might be planning for applying for citizenship in the near future? Sure, Elena. I think before every plan for your next uh, identity, you have to think about your, 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 your future, what you want and the goal your setting if you get this uh, identity. Um, if you're just uh, looking for a few years development in Singapore um, or just uh, seeking for the job security, I think PR should be enough. And, and I think most of the people today uh, are looking for working on the PR application. Uh, but for my case, uh, I think on top of my personal goal, I, I'm more um, concerned about my next generation and the family uh, being more stabilized in Singapore. So uh, I look for next uh, option for, 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 for make a good place and good uh, 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 security with them when doing the citizenship application. So from day one, you need to make sure your roadmap where you want to be and what you, your goal in working in Singapore or contributing in Singapore. And after you have the citizenship and successful, you also have the responsibility to think about how you can contribute in Singapore. I think this is also the right that you have this uh, good identity. So, um, so this is my advice uh, to, to everyone if you are thinking for your next step to planning anything for uh, to, to, have a, to have a new identity and, uh, and your next step. Thank you, Dixon, for this awesome piece of advice. I think it's really insightful coming from someone who has been through the whole process and journey. Thank you for inviting me for share the experience. Thank you so much for your time as well, Dixon. So we've come to an end for today's episode. I hope Dixon's story has inspired you to start planning for your Singapore citizenship. So if you're still thinking whether to upgrade your status from a Singapore PR to Singapore citizenship, do not think by yourself. You can contact us, the immigration professionals, to actually walk you through the whole process and decide together if this is the best decision for yourself, your family and your future. As usual, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in our next episode.